Hello and welcome to this Play.ht review where I'm going to be going over this AI powered text to voice generation software, talk about some of the features, give you a little bit of a demo, you get to hear a lot of the voices as well, and at the end I'll give you my pros and cons. If you'd like to test out Play.ht, they actually do come with a free account, I will put that link in the description, so you can always test them out before you actually go and make any type of purchase or choose one of their monthly plans. Let's begin. So right off the bat, Play.ht is very straightforward in terms of utilizing your text and turning that into voices or speech. You're not going to have a lot of difficulty doing that. For this example, I just created some AI content and put it in here that you can, you know, follow along with. And once you do that, I like splitting it up into specific sentences or paragraphs. That way you can actually go ahead and preview the paragraph like one at a time. Depending on the plan that you have, you can't always listen to the full text, but it might consume some word credits, so you might just want to split it up that way to avoid that problem. Now here comes the voices, of course. All in all, the premium are going to be great. On the other hand, the standard are going to be alright. From what I've listened to, they're a little bit slightly more robotic. I'll give you a few listens. Create realistic voiceover audio using the most natural sound. Okay, it just kind of like goes right on word after word after word, doesn't stop, doesn't have as great, you know, uh, a rate or a pitch. Let's go to James, I like that name. With cloud machine learning, your application interprets images. Okay, so those are just kind of a few of these standard. They're all right, but premium are great. And then I'll get into the other voices as well. Let's go with Jason. Powered by machine learning, these voices are clear, confident, and provide a professional voice. I agree. Powered by machine learning, these voices are clear, confident, and provide a... Okay, so let's say we wanted to use Jane. Actually, let's go back there. And what we can do is set voice as default, meaning that we're, it's going to be used all throughout. So what I can do is just kind of walk you through how it's going to work. The cool thing is you can change the voice style. So even though some sound a little bit more down, you can make them more uh, cheerful or excited. But this is regular. So let's play and hear what it sounds like. As a YouTuber, one of the most important things you can do is find a voice that viewers will connect with. Okay, pretty good. So let's do, let's say excited, add a little bit more uh, pep in the step, so to speak. And we'll do, yeah, preview. As a YouTuber, one of the most important things you can do is find a voice that viewers will connect with. All right, definitely excited, almost a little bit too much. So we could say like cheerful or how about friendly? Let's go with friendly. As a YouTuber, one of the most important things you can do is find a voice that viewers will connect with. Perfect. And once again, let's go here. Let's play this one. This voice should be consistent across all your videos, and it should be something that comes naturally to you. All right. Continuing on. Let's, uh, we don't need to highlight that. Let's click play. However, if you have difficulty finding or maintaining this voice, text-to-voice software can be a helpful tool. And what you can also do if you want to change around specific words, oops, let's highlight this right here. This is where you can do uh, pronunciation, you can do tone, or you can pause a little bit more. And the pronunciation thing is actually pretty cool. So it can be a helpful tool like a potato. Okay, this makes no sense, but what I want to do is have you listen to this. However, if you have difficulty finding or maintaining this voice, text-to-voice software can be a helpful tool like a potato. Okay, let me just delete this so it goes quicker. Now, here when it comes to pronunciation, like if you really say maybe you're from like Boston, you know, you got to park, park the car in the driveway or, you know, like a New York accent where they're they're pretty strict on their pronunciations. What you can do is go here and what you can do is potato, okay, and do preview. Potato. Here we go, apply. And just like that, you can change around how they're going to say specific words if you really want to go like that deep into it. Text to voice software can be a helpful tool like a potato. See what I mean? I thought that was pretty cool. But continuing on from there, that's what you would go through when it comes to creating your text to voice, obviously, overall. Like I said, you can listen to the full text, but depending on the plan that you have, it might consume some word credits as it shows there. But overall, converting it to speech is very easy. You would go here, and this is where you can save it as a, like an MP3, or depending on the type of file that you have, that's really going to be up to you. There is also going to be the option to take articles and just completely turn them into text as well. For example, I found a very short article. I, I just looked for short articles, you know, that aren't going to be like a thousand words long. I believe this was like around 300. So if we go to import text, import from URL, let's paste it in here and import. And if you give it a wow, like a half second, there you go. Uh, these are just some like random things. But this is what's going to allow you to very quickly import an article that you have. So 
let's just say we wanted to do something like this and we can use a different voice just for another example how about davis powered by machine learning these voices are clear confident and sure and how about for this we don't want terrified we don't want whispering how about hopeful let's give this a try is running a marathon under two hours possible will a human ever be able to run that fast i like adding and and will a human Probably not grammatically correct, but I think it'll sound better. Is running a marathon under two hours possible? And will a human ever be able to run that fast? That is great. Okay, so that's going to be the same process. I don't need to walk you through that where you can go through, you know, just kind of preview it, check it out, make sure it's good. You can always change the voice, the voice style, add a pause, the pronunciation library. It's a pretty straightforward process where once I show you how to just add in text and edit it around, you're going to be pretty much good to go. Aside from that, they do have the ability to utilize a WordPress plugin where if you upload it to your specific website, what you can do is embed audio on any specific articles that you want. So when someone comes to the top, they can click on the play button and they will have this voice or text to speech voiceover and you can go that route if you want, which is another great, obviously, feature. You can use this for YouTube videos. You can use it for podcasts, any type of audio books, ebooks, e-courses. That's going to be up to you, of course. Now let's kind of transition to the pricing as a, along with the pros and cons. So first and foremost, let's talk about the pros and cons together. Okay. The one thing I really like about this is that the premium voices are great. You got to listen to those. And even another great pro is that the ultra realistic voices are just phenomenal. On the other side, in terms of cons, you're only going to be able to find those at the premium. I mean, it's probably not the worst thing. There's a reason why these are here because they are just so good. It would be great if you could kind of get those in a lower one, but that's just kind of in my opinion. I'm going to click on this. I did a separate video of these, but I just want you to hear a few of these because they are really phenomenal. A remarkable man in possession of limitless curiosity and... Hey, Arthur. Our attention has never been as overwhelmed or in demand as it is today. Hudson. At the 90-day marker, it's a good idea to check in and review the employee's performance. Now yeah, we'll do Jordan one more. The next phase of the onboarding process begins on the employee's first day. Okay, so you see what I mean? Those are just phenomenal. They're fantastic. I love those. And then aside from that, like I talked about, it's pretty easy to use. You're adding text here. You're importing your article. And then what you can do is go on like... Uh, break it up into chunks in case you want to preview it one by one. For me personally, I wouldn't take too much time going over like the, the correct tone and so on and so forth. I just specifically want like either excited or professional or something like that. Go from there and I'd probably just add commas and periods where they need to be to make sure that it flows properly. You saw the ability to import articles. Very easy to do. Add the URL and then go through the same process. And I think the fact that you can add audio to your very own articles using their WordPress plugin is a very nice touch. Aside from that, I talked about like one con. I'd say one more is that the personal right here is just going to be okay. This is the one I got to test out when it comes to using this. You get 20,000 words a month. You get standard voices, unlimited previews, and unlimited downloads. I feel like it's okay, but I, I believe the best, or at least moving forward, you're going to want to start at least a professional. The reason for this is not only like the upgrade in words and everything in personal, but free audio previews is great. I talked about this before. If you want to preview all of your content before it actually goes live, and you save it using the personal that's going to use some words so that'll save you some but this is probably the biggest one with the commercial license i know there's a lot of youtube creators out there a lot of youtubers who want to use like a uh, text to voice with this it says you can use the audio create in your revenue focused activities such as product demos ads employee training youtube videos etc so in my opinion professional is probably going to be the most popular if you want to get started there then of course is premium i love the fact that they have the ultra realistic voices it's too bad they don't have those say in professional but you also get unlimited voice generation so this makes sense if you really just want to do a ton of like voiceovers and voice generation i think that would be your spot to go combining that with the ultra realistic voices not only can you crank out a lot of content but a lot of really high quality content using their ultra realistic voices so kind of mashing that up together that's like the pros and the cons obviously a lot more
more going on for this than the cons, which are just some slight nitpicks. Like I wish ultra realistic voices would be one down, but hey, that's the way it is. Overall, you know, feel free to test them out yourself. They are simple to use. They get the job done and still their premium voices are great. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, Play HT comes with a free account, so you can actually test them out. I love when software tools do that, especially when I'm getting to review them for you. You get to make your decision for yourself. You know, check it out with a free account. And if you want to upgrade, you can always do that as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.